Welcome back, Keep Fishing. It's TJ here. We're back. We're gonna try to do some crappie fishing today. It's gonna be awesome. We got a couple cars out here already. Lakes looks beautiful. Looks beautiful. We can get some crappie. That'll be nice, y'all. I'll let y'all know. All right, peace. I got a nice little spot that I fished here before years ago and caught some decent sized crappie. But uh, I'm gonna check out that spot, see how it is, and then I'm gonna keep moving. Got my coffee with me. Got ugly stick that I'm gonna be using. Um, got a little small uh, black jig. I'll show you that in a little bit. And I'm gonna try to use, we'll see if I can get a nice fish. I don't know, what the heck? Oh, a condor. It's a big bird. Look at that. It looks bigger in person. All right, got a nice lake out here. It's pretty flat. This is a zero horsepower lake out here in Nemesilla. Been coming out here for years, but I'm excited. I'm excited, y'all. All right. We are gonna start right here. All right, got my ugly stick. This is what I'm gonna be using today. Black, little yellow on there. a fish right there below me it looks like it's a little bluegill so I got in the water it's right here below me I don't know if you can see that look like it's a nice size too it is not active at all that is weird fish right in the water if I had a net I can just grab it. It's like stuck, not moving. One bluegill following my lure, that's it. Not a crappie, but bluegill. So looks like this area might have more bluegill than crappie. I'm gonna keep moving. So today is solar eclipse day. So it looks like a lot of people are coming out to get their spot to watch the solar eclipse. I got my coffee down here. Let me get this. Somebody has their dog. They'll come up and have their dog lick all over it. That would not be good. We got our path to get down to where the fish at. There's a couple people that's over here already. We're gonna try not to disturb them because they got to catch their fish too, y'all. They got to catch their fish. It's been a while. I'm gonna get out here, try to get us some slabs. Got a nice spot over here. Let's go. All right, we are gonna start off right here. Another color. This black isn't wanting to stay on. Don't have much, but I got a couple other colors. I don't know if there's a certain color that they're preferring right now. Yeah. 
We got a little bit of pink. I haven't tried that before. I might try this one on there and see if I can get a bite and see how it goes. There we go. Like that. Switched it up. I was not catching any crappie with the black. I was not catching any crappie with the black jig. So I found this bobber. I'm gonna do a slower presentation so I can put this on there, hopefully catch a fish using that. And then I also got a different setup right here. And I got it maybe not even a foot off of there. You can see that. So I'm gonna try to do use this and catch us either some bluegill or some crappie. So a little bit slower presentation for that. As soon as I see that bobber go down, boom, I'm getting it. I think the fish are high and that jig was getting low real fast. And then it would get caught in something, so. actually got caught in some stuff too oh, you where you're at. <laughs> yeah Are you catching nothing? nothing no bites so it's uh some stuff moving around but you're not biting on my stuff i think if i had like some wax worms i could probably get some bluegill Oh, okay. That'll work for some bluegills. Yeah, that's what we're after. That's what he's after anyway. I'm just after a fish. I don't care what. <laughs> I hear that. Yeah, that friend of mine, he, you know, his wife came out here a couple weeks ago and killed his bluegill on uh, so the they, worm. They took them all. That's what you're saying? <laughs> hey, yo, I never thought about it. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> they do it's fun to catch those oh there we go oh yeah it's small what is it a little oh <laughs> look at that a little bass <laughs> yeah right <laughs> i'll put this on the wall yeah there you go right Oh my goodness, you took it good. I got it. Yeah, all right. <laughs> oh, take a picture of that trophy. Right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Right. It's on my wife. I, I've been fishing. <laughs> I, I, look, I was catching one this big. <laughs> yeah, I ended up. And it got off. He had this little one in his mouth. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, at least I didn't get skunked today. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yesterday, did not catch any crappies. I wanted some slabs really bad. I did not get them. Today I'm going out again. I'm gonna uh, try the area I was at. I got a, another small lure that I wanna try to use. 
Um, probably try to get some bluegill because there was a lot of bluegill running around. I didn't bring my setup for the largemouth bass. It'd be good if I could. Uh, could have brought that so that way I can uh, catch a couple of largemouth bass because I know they were chasing those bluegill. Um, still excited to get back out there because I haven't been out there too much. Um, well, this is my second time this year, so I'm glad to get back out there. Uh, what else? Um, yesterday I was using that black with a little bit of yellow on the eye. It did not do me any good at all. Didn't do me good, so um, I'm not going to put that back on. But uh, hopefully we can get some good fish to show you guys today. Uh, pretty excited. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. All right. I think I want to try to go over that way. Maybe try to get by those trees. Let me check by this tree out of the water before I go and start spooking stuff. Check right here. Nothing there, I'm heading out. Heading out there. I'm gonna probably go in from, I guess I can come going right here. Whoa, that started off deeper than I thought. from a different angle. Needed to try something else. I wanted to use this presentation because it's a little bit smaller than the other one and it has more of a natural color. So in the water, the since this water is pretty clear, it's gonna look more realistic. So I'll try that. See if that can pull in a bluegill for us. We'll see, first cast. Not even a bite. No bite, I got one bite today. And then that bite, probably was a small fish. It could have been something just pulling on the tail. So let me do some walking around. If this fish there, they should be biting. Get more bites more often. 
so this isn't the school of fish I want to be in. Let's keep moving. Seeing what else we can find. <sighs> Yesterday the fish were splashing around a lot more. Today, they're not splashing around as much. I guess the bass was eaten yesterday, so they're not chasing them so much today. So we're not too far, but it is possible that you can have more fish over this way. Nothing on that one. Let me go out. There we go. There we go. Oh, man. So we got a bite on that one, which was good. But I didn't get it. I got to get that bad boy in. No bite on that one. Should I give it one more cast? One more cast to check. I think it might be too shallow. I am going to try a whole different location. <clears throat> Sometimes that's what you gotta do. You got to know when to hold. So, didn't get any fish right there. Got a couple bites, a couple small bites. Not anything to pull in, show you guys or anything like that. I know there's another location down the road. It has a different type of, uh, might be a little bit deeper water. So I'm gonna check that out. See if I can uh, pull some fish there. Wanna just see where these fish are at. Start pulling them in. It's a beautiful day in Ohio. We've had just crappy weather. I mean, just like rain and snow coming down all at the same time. Not good at all. And now we got a day where it's gonna be about 75 degrees. Yesterday, surprisingly, was a decent day. It was uh, the solar eclipse. Hopefully you guys was able to see that. That was pretty awesome. We just uh, took it easy. We didn't do anything spectacular. For that but i was out here fishing for the early part of the day and uh only caught that small bass but we're gonna come back out and uh see what else i can catch out here oh, it's not as many people out today as there was yesterday i think a lot of people had off for um, the solar eclipse which was pretty cool at any rate get back to the car see if i can uh find a better spot see you guys there peace oh boy all right wait this is the spot i fished yesterday and i know there were some fish in there oh i see some fish down there there's some tiny ones let me just get my line in they're pretty shallow let me make this more shallow See if I can at least just pull something in. See what's what's down there. It's like a little film on, on top of the water, which looks gross. But I know it was fish all in this area yesterday. And I just, I couldn't pull them in. You'll see the bass kind of chasing them. And you'll see just the whole section of water just, whew, just move. And I'm surprised I, I haven't heard or seen any of that today. So I'm wondering if that whole school has moved to a, a different location or if they're still, still out here. 
and the bass just aren't chasing them today. step down here get a better angle I know there were some down that way Ooh. get my footing getting caught up quick so maybe it's too shallow I mean this is I guess shallow water so let me go out further if it's getting caught on something that means it's too shallow okay it's look like it's something playing with it oh boy yeah it was something playing with it all right Let me try that again. Oh yeah, they're playing with it. Oh, gotta be something tiny. Oh, that's more activity over here than it was and the first spot I was at, I mean, I, I know I was here yesterday with a lot of activity. I just couldn't pull anything in. But now they're like actually going after this lure a little bit better. And I think typically when they tug and tug and play with it like that, it's probably something small just grabbing on that back tail of it. It's not able to put the whole thing in its mouth. I just came from all the way across there. That's where I was at before. And then that, where that comes to a point right there, that was the last spot I was kind of just trying. And then I was on the other side of that, which the water I believe there was a little bit deeper here. I think it's a little bit more shallow. Oh man, See, it took it all the way under. All the way under, but then still did not take it. That's it, it's under the water. Oh, there we go. There we go, finally. So I'm guessing a bluegill, and I'm guessing smaller, and it is. Look at that. This is a decent size. Actually, it's not a decent size. This is small. This one goes back, so this is what's down there making all that ruckus we gotta get a bigger one all right i know there's some big ones out here right away oh my goodness it goes under typically when it goes under you grab back what's going on it does not have it. All right, get back to that area. There might be a spawning bit over there or something. Oh, it's a certain group over there that has a good amount that's biting for me. There we go. Oh, goodness. There must be some tiny ones. Tight lines, tight lines. Mm. What am I doing wrong, y'all? So this is what's going on, y'all. 
remember how the setup looked and had little tails that was back here it actually just bit those off and now you got this big hook sitting up and then with this hook being so big it would have to really commit and bite that whole thing so that's not going to work for us no matter how i look at it they're going to either keep biting this they bite what they see is going to be this their mouth is only so big for the bluegill so this isn't going to work for us so we're going to go back to the drawing board maybe even stop at the bait shop see if we can get something else Hey. Sir. Fine, how are you? Oh, I can't complain at all. Alright, I'm trying to catch some fish though, so. <laughs> Alright, well, we got all our like weights and terminal tackle stuff over there. Alright. Uh, all the hooks and uh, lures and such over on this side and bobbers as well. So just a frog and you need some uh, wax room, you said? Wax room. I appreciate you, sir. Alright, you have a good one, man. Hey, you too, man. Yep. Coming from the bait shop. I got a couple things, but not exactly what I wanted to get. Um, I wanted to get more stuff that was kind of that natural color with a really small hook in case I wanted to do some more bluegill fishing. And I, I kind of do because it's fun catching bluegill, but then I also wanted to get something that I, I can use for some crappie as well. They didn't seem to have a, a huge variety, but I was able to pick up, pick up a couple of things and I'm gonna try it out. I'm gonna try a different location too. He gave some good advice, so <laughs> cool, cool for that. But uh, we'll see how this uh, new spot is. It's gonna be a lot different than the other spot. Um, see you guys when we get there. All right, peace. How's it going? I'm all right. Any bites yet? Uh, not yet. Gotcha. See a lot of bait fish down there. So, got some competition, but when there's bait fish, you know there's gonna be some other fish. I don't know if you can see them, but yeah, a lot of bait fish in the water. So they got options on what they can be eating. I'm gonna go ahead, got a different setup on here. We have Back to our crappie rig. It's about two feet of a lead from the bobber. That's gonna give us a little bit of control on how deep that's going. But, oh yeah, some fish I see them darting up, going after. That's some action in that water. Tons of minnows. Right, I'm gonna keep moving. I need some stuff to be biting. super clear so it's pretty clear so you can get a good view of whatever's going on that's why I wanted more of a natural color bait something that looked more presentable it really cleaned this area up it was a bunch of weeds and stuff bushes that was all over here but it's not anymore. So I want to get down there.
Finally. There we go. All right, got a little bitty one, y'all. Little bitty one, but we got it. This one's not gonna be big enough to keep. It ain't gonna, it barely got it by the, <laughs> on the side, y'all. But we pulled them out right over there in front of that. First one, that's good. We got our crappie. First one of the year. Let's see if we can get some more. We got good color to it as well. Really nice color. All right. some weight to it that one got some weight to it y'all this is a keeper this is a keeper oh man look at that you guys this one got a full belly so you know they down there eating good that is a keeper y'all that's what we talking about this is what we want nice slab nice crappie that one maybe like 11 maybe 12 inches i say 11 but this one is good you guys Nice color on it. Gotta get that stringer out. All right. Today was a little bit better than yesterday. So, didn't get a ton of crappie, but we did get some. And wasn't skunked. And I'm okay with that because a little bit better each day, that's fine. Got some more days that I'm planning on fishing. I'm gonna probably go to a different bait shop because I think I got an idea of what I can get so that way I can be pulling in those fish every time. But uh, I have fun. There's a lot more people starting to come out, out now to try to uh, fish and good luck to them. I ended up giving my crappie to this guy. He came and was fishing next to me. He pulled in a decent sized perch and uh, he was pulling in some other fish. I think some small uh, bluegill or whatever, but um, I just gave my fish to him and uh, I want to get a pile of them. I got to get some slabs y'all i gotta get some slabs so uh look forward to getting to the bait shop to get some more supplies so that way you can come out and slam them all right till next time peace